Hey, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. With recent report of a solid state hard drive degrading faster in newer Mac, especially the M1 variant, and the fact that most new Mac SSD is no longer user replaceable, my video today will focus on how to determine your Mac's hard drive to expand. This technique will work for both the Intel and M1 variant. The only limitation is you'll need to be running Mac OS with Big Sur or Catalina. Also, I'm not sure if this trick will work on mechanical hard drive. If anyone tried it on a mechanical hard drive, please let me know in the comment section. Let's dive in. To begin, we must first make sure we have Xcode installed. If Xcode is already installed on your Mac, you can skip ahead to the following time. Otherwise, keep following along. Open the App Store, and then we want to search for Xcode. Then afterward, we want to click Get, and then click on Install. Once Xcode is installed, you want to open it and accept the license agreement. Afterward, we can quit the app. Now we click on Spotlight to search for Terminal and then open terminal. And now we want to type in the following syntax. And then press return. It will then prompt you for a password. Type in your password. As you are typing in your password, you won't see any asterisk or any feedback as you are typing. It will look blank. Just make sure to type in your password slowly and correctly. Afterward, press the return key. And then you'll see a bunch of like lines with words on the screen and it will take a couple minutes for it to complete. Once completed, you should see a prompt as indicated by the percentage sign. And you'll see a few lines above it that say something like next step in bold letters. Now you want to type in the following syntax. Hit return and it will open a new window. And in the new window, you want to type in the following syntax. Hit return. And on your keyboard, hit the following key. Control and O, not zero, to save the file. And then afterward, you want to hit Control and X to exit. You should be back in your terminal window now. Quit and restart terminal to apply the changes. Now we want to install SmartMon tools. We type in the following syntax. on the screen now, you want to look for the percentage use. Under percentage use, you'll see a number and that number will tell you how much wear and tear has been done on your hard drive. On an older computer, it will obviously be higher like in the double digit. On a newer computer, it should be somewhere in a single digit, especially if it's just a couple months old. That concludes the video. If you found this video helpful, please consider subscribing and liking to help this channel out. See you in the next one.